Hi, very warm welcome to Dusty Shelf Collectibles. Today, another random loco video. Yeah, so another one of my videos where I'm just going to pick something out of the collection. Um, so this one is unboxed, um, but it's British Railways Electra, um, number 2700. This is a Trying Hornby's model. Um, and what we're going to do, is t as usual, we'll take it over to the bench, I'll try and give a bit of background to the real item. We'll talk through the model and then we'll come back and run it around the layout a little bit. Yeah, Electra 2700. What an interesting loco this is. So, a um, bit of a strange history on this one. So, this is a British Rail Class 77 and one of the first Coco Electric locomotives with an overhead pickup. Um, they were built by Metropolitan Vickers in 1953. Uh, specifically for running on the Woodhead line between Manchester and Sheffield. Um, now, the, the thing that's particular about these is they ran on one and a half volt, sorry, one and a half kilovolt DC. DC. Um, originally, there was 27 of these ordered, and uh, after seven of them had been built, they found that the 25 kilovolt AC was much more efficient, so the order was cancelled. So there was only actually uh, seven of these ever built. Um, they're all numbered sequentially, so 27000 to 27006, um, and they were all named after, all seven locos named after Greek mythology, so obviously this one being Electra. Um, they carried on running purely on the Woodhead line, which makes this a strange subject for, you know, for trying to make a model from. Um, they ran right through to 1968, um, when they were withdrawn en masse, stored for a year, and then sold to the Dutch Railways. So, uh, yeah, quite a strange history and quite a strange subject matter for, you know, early railways or early modelling of railways to make. But, um, yeah, still a very, very lovely model. Yeah, so sadly, my, my loco, my example of this loco is unboxed. Um, it's a trying Hornby model. Um, it does say underneath here, I can just get the light on it. I will do a picture of this. And it's model number R351. Um comes with the pantographs, as you see. I'm actually missing a spring, unfortunately, on one of them. So um, they are operational. This one's missing the spring. This one, however, has retained its spring. And you can see that, you know, should I have an overhead line, unfortunately I don't run an overhead line, this would follow it quite nicely. Makes it a fantastic, you know, fantastic uh, modelling subject. Um, you know, considering these were all gone by 1968, and there was only a few of these, um, for this to be picked as one of their range, I mean, yeah, it's fantastic, fantastic. And I, I love, it's got this fantastic livery on it. I mean, I, I suspect these are still probably hand-painted, I'm guessing. You know, you can see the see the livery around the sides here and on the front. Really nice moulding, lots of detail. You can see all the rivets on the front there. Given its age, I mean, it, it's a fantastic model. Really is, really is. So, um, in terms of its age, I'll just bring up... Yeah, so I've got this book here, which is uh, Ramsey's Guide. I've shown this before on one of my videos. And um, this is a, it's quite an old edition, but I do use this to sort of age my locos in my collection. Um, the sort of valuations in here, because it's so old, they're pretty irrelevant now. Um, you know, low model railways have sort of declined in value over the last few years. But uh, anyway, um, in here, if I just find where it is down here... You've got the uh, class EM2 electric cocoa 27000 Electra model number is R351, which is this one. So it's dated 1961 to 1965. Um, so I obviously I can't date which year that is, but this does put this in the early 60s, um, which is fantastic. I mean, when you think this is, you know, this is this is quite a getting on 60 year old loco, maybe a little bit more. Um, that's really fantastic. So anyway, let's, let's take this over to the layout and let's give it a run and see if it still uh, still can pull along a uh, set of coaches and things. So making my way over from the uh, bench back to the layout, there's a couple of things I've noted. So first of all, only one of the bogies is driven. The other is just a dummy. So it's going to limit the pulling power. The other thing I've noted is, uh, obviously with this being... 60 odd years old you can see on here these are the large flanged wheels so when this sits on the track let me just slide this back on gently what you can hear 
I don't know if your camera's picking it up, but basically with this modern track, it's not quite as deep as what was around sort of 60s, 70s on the two rail. So the wheels are actually touching, again, caught on the sleepers. Um, and having tried it on the other track over here, for some reason it's even more pronounced on here. So I'm gonna to stick to running it just back and forth on the test track, uh, just to give a sort of indication of how it runs. So let's give it a go. Well, it ran of, of sorts, uh, a little bit jumpy, um, particularly on the last footage on this particular line. You probably could hear it, uh, hear the wheels bouncing along the uh, sleepers. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful looking model. It does, you know, considering its age, it still runs pretty well. Could probably do, to be fair, do with a really good service. Um, I could, I could see the, uh, you know, the sort of arcing underneath where uh, the wheels are particularly dirty. So. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get this one on the bench in a little bit and give it a good clean. Anyway, uh, as I say, I've been picking uh, locos out of randomly out of the collection. This is the one that uh, came to hand this week, so uh, hope it was of interest. Um, as I say, if you, if you like these videos, um, please subscribe. Um, you'd be doing me a big favour if you like this video because it will uh, help with the algorithm, help it so that uh, it can be seen. And uh, yeah, if not, not to worry. Um, thank you ever so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.